All right, everyone, now we have a very weird new twist in the Hunter Biden crime uh, family case. Well, case says there are multiple of them, as you can see. This is pertinent to the Hunter Biden case, so his tax fraud and his illegal purchase of a firearm. His legal team, it seems, and the, it, the details are not 100% known at this time. The judges already reacted. We'll get to that. I would be spurging out if my court were misled in such a way. Uh, apparently, Hunter Biden's legal team thought it was a good idea to try to hoodwink the judge and the court by calling up the clerk's office and pretending, one of their lawyers pretended to be an attorney for the other side, requesting that something that was filed be unfiled, uh, specifically a release of information with regards to some uh, facts of the case to the public, because, you know, the public has been, uh, you know, has a right to know what the hell is going on in such a high-profile case. And uh, in order to prevent that material from being released, then <laughs> they called up and misrepresented themselves as though they were members of the competing uh, legal team, the, the one that's going after Hunter Biden. The judge, obviously, was not too, uh, taken too kindly to this and ordered them to respond. However, the uh, material remains sealed at this time until sometime today, presumptively. That's apparently the plan. Uh, and so they, uh, the Hunter Biden people have to... Uh, uh, file off uh, officially and also explain to the judge exactly what happened. It looks like it was a lawyer named Jessica Bengals. Uh, that's the name that's uh, in this particular report. Link in the description archived, of course. I'm seeing slightly different details depending on which iteration of the story you're going by. Uh, but, I mean, think about it this way. It, why should the Hunter Biden plea deal hold up if his attorneys are willfully misrepresenting themselves as members of the other side, legally speaking, uh, lying, literally lying to the court. And by, by the way, wouldn't you get the, uh, normally disbarred for this? I would think this is the sort of thing that would, you know, the, the legal board would be looking into it and saying, well, this is, uh, it's illegal, probably, uh, or at the very least, it's dubious and unethical, and lawyers have such a high degree of ethical credibility. I realize that's not actually how the legal system works. There are some scumbag lawyers out there that'll do anything for money. Ambulance chasing lawyers, you know, lawyers for big corporations willing to lie to the entire public about ah, nicotine or something like that. Hey, uh, don't worry. Smoke up, boy. It's the American way. You're not unpatriotic, are you? This does happen. Look at the lawyers hired by Big Pharma, if you don't believe me. Um, but, there, but there are standards that are generally applied, you know, unless you're a really high-hitting lawyer. Again, you went to Harvard, and now you're representing Marlboro, and you can, maybe, maybe you can skate with it. Do Hunter Biden's attorneys have the clout? I guess we'll find out. If I were the judge in this case, I would be irate. I would, have, I would have immediately called them up personally and said, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you do realize you're going to get disbarred. I'm going to personally make sure of that. Uh, this is nuts. So, so Hunter Biden, he commits tax fraud. He's cracked out. He's trafficking people. He's buying guns illegally, ironically enough, violating his dad's own new tough-on-crime policies with regards to that. Uh, gets a sweetheart deal, and despite the fact that he's got a sweetheart deal, just to keep a few pertinent details from even going public, probably for political reasons, his legal team decides to mislead the judge. Now, whose idea was it to do this? Was it the lawyer who knew that if they were discovered and they had to, I mean, lawyers, at the very least, they're, they're competent in the intellectual faculties department. You don't have to think that a lawyer is ethical to understand that they're fucking smart. You don't pass the bar exam without being reasonably intelligent. Uh, IQ above 120 in most cases, I'm assuming. Anyway, was it the lawyer's idea? So, th you know, there's the threat of being, you know, released from being able to be a lawyer in the state. Um, certainly, uh, you can face other repercussions. Hell, I don't know how illegal this is particularly. I would assume, at least in the civic sense, it's high up there. Uh, was it the, the, the legal team itself? Did they concoct this plan together? Was it Hunter's idea? Did he command the lawyer to do this? By the way, if that's the fact, will the, uh, will the attorney throw Hunter under the bus and say, well, I was just doing what my client asked me to do? I don't know. I thought it was weird and suspicious, but, you know, I, he's paying me. Uh, whose idea was it, was it to try to mislead the court? You've already got a sweetheart deal that keeps Hunter out of jail. He just pays a fine. He pays restitution and, and gets probation, basically, uh, you know, or suspended sentence, rather. Well, I, 
what more do you possibly fucking want? You're facing what would normally be felony charges, at least with regards to the gun form, but you don't even have to go to jail. You can go back to daddy's house in Rehoboth Beach and paint and grift and, and make more money on the side by peddling influence to foreign dignitaries. Or at least, I mean, you have to be more careful about it now. You can't do it while smoking crack. Daddy tells him, if, when you take back up the pipe, you have to take a mandatory vacation because we don't want another laptop incident. How many crimes are the Bidens and everyone adjacent to them going to have to be involved with? How many crazy things are going to have to happen before more of the public wakes up and smells the goddamn coffee? So Biden's a criminal. Hunter's a criminal. Other members of their families are criminals. Hell, is Jill insider trading right now? The world may never know. Now, at least one of their attorneys is doing something at least dubious and sleazy, if not outright criminal. Again, this could be something you get disbarred for. You just <laughs> you misled the judge and, and, and the judge's clerk presiding over the case to which you are party. This has to be illegal on some level. It, at the very least, it's unethical enough that it needs to be investigated as to what happened. So now the judges commanded them to respond and explain exactly what went on. They'll probably deflect, drag things out. It'll keep under seal for a while. And in the end, uh, again, uh, as usual with the Bidens, with, with Teflon Joe, don't expect anything to happen because he's the head of the Uniparty. Joe, Joe is the puppet, uh, the puppet that's being used by the puppet masters for the Uniparty. He's their steward, the, uh, the caretaker to the throne that really should be occupied by someone who's actually competent. Uh, there aren't many of them in D.C., though. There's only a few people currently running that are halfway competent. I'd put Trump at the top of the list. And these are the reasons why Trump sneezes. And people claim that he's trying to give some, uh, infect somebody uh, in Congress or something. He's trying to assassinate his opponents by making them sick. Joe Biden's son's attorney now is wrapped up in the same goddamn criminal web that Joe and Hunter are. Uh, again, it's, it boggles the mind. I'm actually mystified as to why they would bother doing this. Okay, we're, we're seeking to block the release of this material. How can we best do that? We'll file uh, pretending to be, you know, the opposition and hope that they don't notice. How did you expect them not to notice? Obviously, they're going to be in communication with the court's clerk. They're going to know when something like that happens. They're going to be told about it, even if they don't query. Uh, how did you expect to even get away with this? So what point does it even serve? Maybe the attorney is smoking crack, too. It seems like there's an awful lot of drugs and boozing going on in the Biden family. And the only one that has an excuse to do it is Ashley, to drown out some of those uh, bad memories of Dad in the shower from years ago, I suppose. That's about all. Peace out.